Welcome back to my channel or just welcome if you haven't been here before. Today's video is a tutorial on how to do these rain brows, rainbow eyebrows. I first saw this on Instagram and I was like, that's amazing, I have to do that. I love anything that's rainbow or full of color and sparkle. So I saw this and I was like, yep, yeah, I gotta do this one. So this look does call for huge lashes. It's probably gonna look a little bit funny if you don't have huge lashes. Otherwise you can just leave out the under eye area and you won't need the huge lashes. You'll get away with whatever lashes you got on. But yeah, you'll see in the video what it looks like without the lashes. It does look quite weird. All of the rainbow colors that I used in this look are from my Morphe 35B palette, which as you can see, it's full of rainbow colors. Yeah, anyway, that's all I have to say for my intro. So, ooh, yeah, ooh, yeah. I am super rainbow, super rainbow, super rainbow, super rainbow. Mm -hmm. If you guys would like to see how I created this look, then please keep on watching. So we're going to be starting with a clean blank face. This is so that we can carve out the brows and then we'll do the face later on. So the first step is to just take a white eyeshadow base. I'm using the P. Louise base and this is in Rumor Zero. And I'm taking it on this concealer buffer and I'm just going to be applying this to the underside of my brows just so that we can get a bright, vibrant color, a bright rainbow. Now that your eyebrows are looking all frosty, uh, we're going to begin with the rainbow. And so there's six colors in the rainbow. Well, I'm just going to be using six, so red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple. So what we're going to need is six small brushes. So I'm away from home at the moment, so just grab anything that I can. These are the brushes that I'm using. Just a selection, some are angled liner brushes, some are just little eyeshadow brushes. We're going to be starting with the red. Take one of your little brushes. So I'm gonna be taking this red here. Uh, it looks orange on the camera, but it is definitely red. We're gonna do the red on the inside and work our way outside for the rainbow. And while I'm doing this, I'm kind of mapping out or calculating where I'm gonna be putting my colors so I know how much red to put on. So I'm thinking about that much red and I just drag it upwards. You want to be bringing the color down a little bit further than you would normally do for your brows because we may have to carve our brows a little lower than we normally would so that we can see the rainbow. So the next color is orange and I'm going to be taking this orange shade here in the bottom row, another little brush and just working my way outwards. Okay, so next we're going with yellow, and I'm using this yellow shade here. For green, we're going to be using this shade here. For the blue part of the rainbow, we're going to be using this bright blue that we have right here. And last but not least, we've got purple, and we're going to be using this purple here. Oop, that one. All right, now we've got the rainbow all laid out on the eyebrow. We're just going to go back in with all of those shades that we just used, 
and the same brushes and just kind of blend the colors into each other a little bit so that we don't have harsh lines between the colors. Alrighty, now we're going to be doing the other half of the eyebrows. So if you want to take your eyebrow pomade of choice or whatever product you use, I always use a pomade. The pomade that I'm going to be using today is my Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow in Chocolate. And I'm going to be using that with just this angled liner brush. So I'm going to start at the highest point of my eyebrow and work my way down. Then I'm going to be working my way in towards the center and just doing the top line for now. And then we're going to be blending it downwards because we still want to have some of this rainbow visible in the brow. I think that brow is looking pretty good, but to be honest, it's kind of hard to tell when this is so out of shape, like it's not going to look like that once I carve it. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do the other eyebrow and then I'm going to carve it out. And if I need to make any adjustments afterwards, then I'll go and do that then. All right, now we've got the brows done ish, I think. I'm going to be carving the brows out. So I'm going to just start with the top of the brows to begin with and I'm going to be using my LA Girl Concealer and this is in Cool Nude. And I'm just going to be applying it with the little applicator tip and then blending it out using my concealer buffer brush. Now that we've got the top of the brows carved out, we're going to be carving out the bottom of the brows, but I'm going to be using a different concealer. So I'm going to be using my Kat Von D Locket concealer, and this is in the shade Light Warm 3, and using that with this flat concealer brush. This is a Morphe M224. So I'm doing this a little bit differently because I want to kind of uh, dab the concealer on so I'm not spreading the color all over my lid and I don't want to end up with a big smeary mess. Hopefully anyway. Alright, now we've got the brows carved out and they're looking super awesome and rainbowy. I'm going to be taking the same concealer, so the Kat Von D one is the one that I'm using, and that concealer buffing brush, so this one here, and I'm just going to take a little bit on my brush, not too much, and I'm just going to be applying it in the middle in a bit of a dabbing motion to give it a bit of a fade into the eyebrows, a bit of an ombre effect. I'm also going to take that same brush and the same concealer and just use that to prime my eyelids. Next I'm going to be setting that concealer which is on the lid. So I'm going to take my uh, Huda Beauty Easy Bake Loose Baking and Setting Powder. This is in um, the shade sugar cookie so it's just a white or a translucent i'm not quite sure um, but i want to take it on just this regular eyeshadow brush and i'm going to be setting the concealer on my lids all the way up just to where i've carved out the brow Alrighty, now that the rain brows are complete, I want to go do the rest of my face makeup, just some foundation and concealer, etc. And then I will be right back. Okay, so I've done the rest of my face 
And now I'm gonna move on to the eyes and I'm just going to be taking a shimmery white shade. So I'm going in with this shade here, Radiant, from the Lime Crime Venus XL2 palette. You can just use any shimmery white or neutral shade that you like. And I'm just taking it on fluffy eyeshadow brush. All right, now we're gonna move on to underneath the eye and we're gonna smoke out the lower lash line. So I'm gonna be taking the same six brushes and the same six shadows. And I'm just going to repeat what I did for the underside of my brow, for the underneath of my eye. So starting with the red and working my way out. Alright, so we've done with smoking out the lower lash line and it is looking weird again. It doesn't look that good right now, uh, but once the lashes and the mascara go on, um, then it's going to look a lot better. I hope. I hope it's going to look a lot better. Um, but the brows look amazing. I'm so stoked with how the brows have come out. To continue on, with the rest of the look. Because I'm not wearing any eyeshadow on the top of my eyelid, I'm going to draw a thin line of eyeliner just so that when I apply my false lashes, it's going to be a lot more seamless and you're not gonna see any gaps because I'm not very good at applying lashes. But what I'm gonna use for that is my Kat Von D tattoo liner and this is in the shade Trooper Black. Now I've done the liner, I'm just going to be adding a little bit of glitter into the inner third of my eye by my tear duct. And the glitter that I'm going to be using is this uh, Colourpop Glitterally Obsessed, and this one is called Disco Lady. So I'm just going to be applying this with my finger and just in there. On my lips, I'm just going to be popping on a lipstick and I'm using Honey Love by MAC. I'm not going to use a lip liner because, eh. Now I'm just going to be adding a couple of coats of mascara and I'm going to be using my Armani Eccentrico Mascara. For my waterline, I'm just going to add in a little bit of eyeliner and I'm going to be using my NYX Vivid Brights cream color and this is in the shade Cyber Pop and I'm just popping it on a little eyeliner brush. All right now the last thing left to do is just to pop on some lashes and the lashes that I'm going to be using are these Bow Mink lashes by EXO Beauty and oh Oh my god, I just dropped one. Ah, I just dropped two! <laughs> these ones are in the style exotic. Oh, oh my god. I'm gonna go put these on off camera and then I'll be back to show you guys how it looks. Okay, so here we have the completed look. The lashes definitely tied the whole look together. It was looking a bit weird without them. But overall, I'm really happy with the way it turned out. I probably would do it a little bit different next time if I had the opportunity or if I was just to do it again. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. If you did, then please thumbs up, subscribe, and turn on your post notifications so you don't miss any videos from me. Also, if you haven't already, then have a look at my Instagram. I'll chuck the link down below for you guys. There are some looks on there that I've done that I haven't done videos for, so you might be surprised. You might see some never before seen photos from me. I'll also pop all of my other social media links down below for you guys if you guys are interested in Twitter, Facebook, if you have any requests you'd like to see me do, then please feel free to send me a message, tag me in something. 
I'm fully open to doing requests. I hope you guys have a great day and thank you for watching. Oh yeah, and I'll see you in the next video. <laughs>